Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Target dollar spot haul for you. And it's all about Christmas. I pulled out a Christmas shirt. I have some coffee. It's actually maple, but that's okay. Mm. I love coffee. Ooh, almost fell off my table. Let's fix this camera a little bit. There we go. So I hit the Dollar Tree, no, the Dollar Spot at Target. Um, a couple stores of mine started trickling it out. I'm like, it's so early. I mean, it is early. I love Christmas. But I know in my area, the Target Bullseye's Playgrounds typically don't put uh, Christmas out until Halloween or right after Halloween. So I guess we're early this year, but you got to buy it just like at the Dollar Tree. So I'll show you some things I picked up. Some is not Christmas and the rest is non-Christmas. I grabbed two bags of this Tillamook brand, zero sugar. They're like beef sticks, zero carbs. I grabbed two bags from my upcoming trip because these are great to eat in the car. We're gonna be traveling around a lot every day. I can leave them in the fridge. But on the trip out, I figure I'll have one bag. And I, when I open it, it's good for a few days outside of the refrigerator, but I'll have a cooler as well. This is Best Buy August of 2021. It says, after opening, keep bag closed and refrigerate or use within three days. So you get about a three-day window, so that's perfect. I think there are 13, 12, 13 sticks in here. I think 12. So this was good, it was $3.99, but this is great, especially when I do go, if we ever get to go on an airplane again, this is perfect airport food. Because, and to take like international, it's sealed. So it's perfect. So when I go to Ireland, I'll bring a couple, three bags of these as well. I found at my store, there's 80 piece of alcohol wipes. I'm just kinda, you know, you know my jam. If I see something, it was a pretty decent deal, it was $5. I love the wipes, you know, that seal up. These are alcohol, 99% of germs. So I grabbed a pack of those. Um, I got some of these. I'm getting kind of obsessed with these, but I wanted these for Thanksgiving. Look at the pretty colors. Those are just screaming fall to me. And these were just nail um, strips. And it lasts up to 14 days. You get 34 strips. So that's like two sets of nails for me. So I grabbed that. It was $6.99. And then I picked up these cookie cutters from Hearth and Hand. So the Joanne and Chip Gaines collection. These were only $5.99. You get three cookie cutters. And they're the circle, like the biscuit cutters. For me, in keto, this is like portion control. So I want to make some crackers to take and have on Thanksgiving. So this is the size I will make. Maybe I want to cut out some desserts. It would be that size. So I thought this was a good deal. And for $5.99, that's perfect for what I needed it for. I know I just got rid of a ton of cookie cutters and then I bought more. But this isn't for more than just, um, that's not for cookies. That's for cooking. But I did get one cookie cutter. <laughs> it's a llama. So every year when I make gingerbread cookies, I pick a shape. It's not always gingerbread. One year it was a cat. This year it's going to be a llama. And these are nice. For $1, they have like a rubber on this side so your hand doesn't get hurt when you're pushing them. And for $1, I thought that was a very good deal. And we're going to have llamas this year. Um, I think, well, I did pick up this for next year. It's just a little uh, sticker that says sweater weather. I don't need it for this year, but it was a dollar, and I like sweater weather. Okay, now we are all about Christmas time. Christmas time is here. Should we start doing carols? I guess not. Okay, the first thing I picked up is stocking stuffer. Man, lady, but I think guys, I always have a little bit of a challenge filling the guy's stockings, right? And I feel like this is perfect. These are pre-moistened tech wipes. So this is for your electronics. These are not um, sanitizing wipes. They're for your phones, your tablets, your iPads, your TVs. Clean up your tech. And for me, and as 
I use a lot of hand moisturizer this time of year, my phone is always a wreck. So I opened them up already, wiped down my TV and my phone with one wipe and they worked great. These were $1, but I feel like if you see them, grab them because these are perfect stocking stuff. For, even for your teenagers, I mean, these are good. So I grabbed those, when you see them, you buy them. Um, I got a little, I love doing these, paint your own ornaments. This is a little penguin. I don't know if you can see with the glare. I won't use that paint. Um, I'll use craft paint, but it's an ornament with a string. And they had a polar bear, I believe. And these were a dollar. Now, they do have these at the Dollar Tree, two for a dollar, if you want to do them with your kids. Here's my suggestion. You can buy ceramic paint and all that crap. Get some acrylic paint. Let them paint what they want. On the back, you put your name, their, the date that they made it. And then get a can of um, spray paint sealer in like a high gloss or a gloss and give them a couple coats. It keeps them fresh. It keeps the paint from chipping off and it protects them. And then they're dry within a couple hours and you can just take it home. It's always fun too with the grandkids or kids over. I mean, I've done this for years with my nieces. I have ornaments on my tree from my nieces and nephews when they were tiny. And you can even do on the back with a Sharpie or a paint pen or paint it or have them write their name. It's, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I got this because cat. I mean, it's an ornament. There's really no other reason. It's, it's a cat. So I bought it. One dollar. I'm loving this year. They're kind of going with what I feel like is a Nordic feel. Swiss chalet, Nordic type situation. I'm not sure. Like a very clean lines, which is nice. So they have a twist on the bottle brushes, but this is not a bottle brush. It's like pine. It's plastic. You can fluff them up a little bit. They had all different sizes. I got two of this tall and two little smaller ones. So I grabbed four for my kitchen shelves. And I love that the profile is pretty narrow for putting them on like a smaller, narrow, more narrow shelf or as filler and a gold wooden bottoms, which you could do any color you want. Now they are a little top heavy. So if you have a hard time standing them up, you could put um, a sticker dot on the bottom, the removable ones. They sell them at the Dollar Tree. But I grabbed these two guys or four of these to start with this year. And I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff because I have a lot of Christmas, but I wanted to pick up a few new things. I did grab one of these. They had it in this black and they had it in gold. It is a tea light. But I may put something else. Oh, if I would have gotten one of the short trees, you could stick one of these short trees right in here. So if I see one, I'll pick it up. But you, it's a tea light holder, but you don't have to use it for a tea light. And where I think this is going to go, it doesn't need a tea light. Now, I saw on the Dollar Tree website, they're going to have something very similar for $1. And if you don't like the colors that they have, because I think it's like metallics, greens, and reds, and gold, you just spray paint it with the spray paint you already have. So anyway, I grabbed one. It was $3 in the Bullseye Playground. If I didn't say, these were $1. Then I found one of my stores had a bunch of these houses out. These are the ceramic houses. I typically don't buy these, but I do have three new shelves I need to decorate. Plus, I have a tiered tray, so I thought somewhere we can use these. These are pre-lit. The little ones are two for five dollars. And then from fall, I have the three pack of the metal ones that might get spray painted. We'll see. But these are lit. The small ones come in twos, and they're five dollars. And then the big ones, bigger ones, are single pack, and they're five dollars. It's a little pricey if you ask me, but buy the Dollar Tree ones and spray paint them white. But I saw these and I thought I would like them. And again, I have that those three small shelves in my kitchen that I think the trees, this, and these are going to go on in my kitchen. I think. Then they had sets of these ornaments. I'm going to pull them out and show you. To go on, they have a ton of trees, all different trees. These were $5. I thought they were three, but they're five. And they are... Here, I'll just pull out one of each to show you. This is the tree topper, and it's on a hair clip. And you just clip it to the top of a tree. So I have a star. 
And then this one comes with two like wooden snowflakes, two wooden Christmas trees. You can also make garland out of these. Two stars and two wooden houses on this set. Again, you could spray paint these if you have a different decor. They did have two other sets. One was um, silver and gold, all metallics, kind of modern. And the other set that they had was like the red truck, and, but it wasn't the black and red buffalo. And I'm kind of, kind of over the red truck. I like it, but I'm liking these better. So I, and I have enough red truck. And then this one came with a gold metal star, just like at the Dollar Tree but no fallout. Again, the clip, but this is a metal star. And then this has the wooden ornament or on package wrapped gift. And I think I'm going to blend these two kits together. A penguin. Oh, I love penguin. This Christmas tree. And a Santa in the shape of a bulb. Oh, I love it. And if you have little ones, get them this and a tree and let them decorate their own. And they can just do their own thing in their bedroom or something. So I got the two sets of these ornaments, which I'm in love with. After I take Christmas out, these all go to get somewhere. But I'm thinking some type of garland maybe for that. And then on that trip, I found... This blank sign in this taupey color, mm, may get painted, we're not sure yet. Because my walls are so light, I feel like this is also light, but we'll see. But this is, you know, your shiplap board. It could go either direction and only has one hanger, but if you wanted to go this way, you could just glue. It's not heavy at all, some twine. And you could put a any saying you want, cut out Cricut, they're selling the vinyl words again, and this was $3. Then I went tonight because I just knew, I just knew they were putting stuff out because my one target down the street had a whole row of empty and it had been empty for a couple days. So I figured they wouldn't leave it for that long. So I got this 72 inch garland on twine with a metal snowflakes it's gonna look like that these are all your different snowflakes oh i love it again just very bait oh, sorry allergies simple and basic and i love this metal garland and the metal with the rope the rustic and the shiny and these metal snowflakes they also had one with jingle bells one with like snowballs one with some houses and one with some sewn um candy canes but this is the one that caught my eye so i grabbed that i picked up some little signs for my coffee bar this one says life happens coffee helps this is an all the time sign right right so i grabbed that for my coffee bar and then i grabbed two of this one because one is for me and one is for my cousin but it says our family is just one tent away from being a full-blown circus like what? So I did grab two of these. One is for me and I'm taking, I'm giving one to my cousin because she needs one for her coffee bar too. Oops. Okay. Just go throwing things. And these were $1. And they're just little and they had a whole bunch of sign options, but my coffee bar is not that big. So I think those two will be perfect. And I may put a little piece of twine on the back so I can hang them on a push pin on the wall above my coffee bar. That's what I'm going to do for me. And then I found some of these wood clips that just say Santa's Workshop. I love putting these on gifts or on like bags of cookies that I make to give to people. Especially if I do like a brown bag or a Christmas decorated paper sack. Fold it down and you just clip the top with these. And there was six for one dollar. I thought that was a really good deal. Um, you can also make your own. I know for sure that... Dollar Tree has these because I have a bag of plain wood. You could paint or just do plain wood and put any sticker on there that you want. It's just cardboard. But I love these for decorating little gifts for folks. Okay, 
I found this, which I think would be adorable for a little stocking stuffer. They have all different ones, but it is a fully magnetized picture frame, and it just holds a little picture, and I need that for my fridge because I'll put a picture in it, right? Because that's what you do. That is how you do it. Now, I grabbed this because it's adorable, right? And it's just a stocking, but this is totally going to go in my tiered tray. For one dollar you can put a gift in here this would be great to hang on a tree and fill up with some candy and gift cards i mean these are perfect just little gift bags and they had them in all different prints but i liked this one the best and like i said you could stuff it and maybe sew the top or i might just hang it off of my tiered tray like a stocking or in my kitchen off my shelf i don't know i don't know these things until i've done the decorating all right, then I found a lot of these little ornaments, and I love these little ornaments, and I have figured out what I'm doing with them this year. I have some from years past, and in my dining room, I'll have to show you, but it's a wooden box. It has different shelves, and I think these are going to look adorable, except for this one may end up on the tree. But this says gingerbread cookies. It actually has the recipe for gingerbread cookies and a little rolling pin. Oh! Guys, isn't this perfect? I mean, that is everything. This little tiny rolling pin. I only saw one of those. And this is just the ingredients. It doesn't tell you how to make it, but it's the ingredients for gingerbread. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed a ski chair. Like what? It's like from a ski lift. Isn't that awesome? For an ornament, a gift tag, put it on your tear tray, sit it on a shelf, hang it on some garland. It is just stinking adorbs. So I did get one of these, maybe two. I think I just got one of the ski lift. I'm not really a ski person. I have been once in my life and hurt for weeks after. So I grabbed that and that's metal and wood for $1. Um, to decorate, I grabbed two packs of these little mini wreaths. They were a dollar. And I think these are perfect for any tiny little things that you have. And I have some stuff coming up. And I could make them, but I just feel like, why? Because they're three for a dollar. Why make them? Um, please sit down for this ornament. What? It's a little sled. It's an old-fashioned sled. Oh, guys, I'm dying here. I'm thinking of putting one of these wreaths right in the middle of this. I did get two of these. It's an old fashioned, an old fashioned sled. I love it. I love these little ornaments. I know I grabbed two of those because that's all they had. But I think these are adorable. So I grabbed two of those for decorating purposes. And then I grabbed, oh, this one is gingerbread cookie recipe too. And it's just a little wooden ornament with some fabric. And it's an oven mitt. And that, I believe, goes with this. And then there was a pan that had a gingerbread cookie on it, but I didn't get that because I liked these two. Adorable, right? So think about it. Make up some gingerbread cookie dough. Bad. Make up the mix. Put a recipe on it. Tie this on the bag and hand it to a friend. That is a perfect neighbor gift, coworker gift, something. Somebody would appreciate that gift, right? Now, the last things I got, I picked up these, and it's just like a picture window. It's plexiglass. There are screws in the back, so I feel like you could take this plexiglass out if you wanted to spray paint this a darker color. Um, I did get two. They're not huge at all, but on my mantle, now that I have my TV hung, I need some low profile stuff. So I thought these are adorable. You could attach them together this way, put a little garland swag, or they're the same height as this sign, right? So you could not even attach them physically, but just decorate them, make a neat sign, and this would be a cute little lean-to decor. And these were also $3, and they hang, there's this, this sawtooth hanger, or I'm just probably going to lean them on my mantle, depending. i got to check sizes and height of things, 
but I also thought it would be just adorable to attach them glue wise on either side of this sign maybe if they were all the same color or something or leave them in front I don't know I don't know but that was it that was my target bullseye Christmas haul so far that is all my store has put out I'm sure that there's a hundred thousand more things coming but again like with most I'm just picking up here guys with most target stuff you should probably just go and go often if you're trying to find specific items because you're most likely I'm just putting my receipt away for this target haul you're most likely just going to um, find a little bit here a little bit there this was three yeah three different target stops that I made just as I saw one I ran in picked up what I needed and now I need to put all this stuff in the basement until Christmas time because the basement, that's where I put my Christmas stuff. Although the crafty stuff will need to get taken out. I don't know what I'm going to do with those windows yet. I'm thinking hanging some garland on them. Just like little swags or something. I will research on Pinterest um, pictures of those windows full size and just do it in miniature. And put it up on my mantle. I think it's going to be perfect under the TV where I don't have as much vertical space. But that's everything. I hope you enjoy. I hope that gets you in the Christmas spirit, even though it's not Halloween yet. I'm moving a little freaked out here, and I am all about the early shopping for the Christmas season. But again, you gotta go when it's there or you're just gonna miss everything. So happy hunting, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye!